The time to enjoy yourself is in the now, in the moment of whatever it is that you are trying to achieve. <laughs> Studies have shown that people who make a conscious choice every day, and it is a choice, to enjoy themselves during the process of whatever it is they're trying to achieve are more creative, they're more productive, they're able to bounce back a lot faster from life's challenges and they are able to find solutions to problems a lot quicker. Do something nice for somebody. There's nothing that can bounce you back to enjoy the day than that. If you're walking through town, for example, and you see a parking summons on someone's windshield, just walk over to it, rip that sucker up and throw it away. <laughs> Why should that person have to pay for that? and you'll feel so much better. <laughs>simply to show each and every one of you wonderful people how to start each day with an unstoppable attitude to succeed, how to keep that motivation going throughout the day, every day, and here's the key, regardless of your circumstances. I give people more than the nuts and bolts on how to succeed. I give them a foundation to stand on when the nuts and bolts fail. And I actually show them how to enjoy the entire process of achieving their goals, regardless of their circumstances. Does anybody know what the key is to achieve this? To start each day with an unstoppable attitude, how to keep that motivation going, regardless of what's happening to you, regardless of the changes that are taking place? Anyone? Anyone know? What is it? Laughter? That's, that's definitely a part of it. Anybody else? Get out of bed. Oh, look, and they're looking at him like family feud. Good answer, good answer. I, I work alone, okay, tough guy? Just so I let you know that. Right? You know, I tell the jokes, you sit there and go, uh, 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 like that. And we'll get along just fine, you know what I'm saying? Good. Is he laughing? <laughs> Anybody else? Somebody was raising their hand here? Be thankful for what you have in life. That's, that's a very big part of it. They're all good answers, except for yours. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a nice try. <laughs> Here's the key. Here's the key to starting your day with an unstoppable attitude and how to keep that motivation going. And it's so, so simple. It's to make sure that you are feeling good during the process of whatever it is that you are trying to achieve. Feeling good is literally the fuel that drives motivation. Think about it. It is absolutely impossible to stay motivated throughout the day if you are harboring negative emotions or if you have a bad attitude during the process. The reason why people in business fail consistently over and over again, the reason why, and I know you folks are all successful, but the reason why you may have a difficult time achieving your goal, it's not because of the challenge, it's not because you're not smart enough, it's because somewhere along the way, positive momentum ceases. And the reason why positive momentum ceases is because the individual is focusing all of their energy on what isn't working. They're wallowing so much in the problem that they're not leaving any room at all in that brain of theirs for positive thoughts to seep through so that they can come up with healthier alternatives, solutions, and to deal with the next problem that will inevitably follow probably moments later. Feeling good is the fuel that drives motivation. I believe what I bring to the table is, is my ability to use my comedic skills to captivate and engage the audience with laughter as I gradually start challenging them, without them even realizing it, to shift their focus and their way of thinking to discover greater enthusiasm, increased productivity and, and new levels of success. And one of the greatest gifts you can ever offer yourself to feel good, to stay motivated, is to unleash the power of your humor being on a daily basis. Everyone has a humor being within them. Your humor being is the part of you that brings out the best in you when times get really tough. What your humor being can give you more than anything else is emotional stability. It's amazing the feeling that you get when you laugh. I asked you before, how much better do you feel now that you're laughing? You feel great. And it's all around your household as soon as you wake up. We have married people there. How many married people we have up there? Oh, there's humor there. <laughs> is there. Come on, there's humor there. I mean, humor is a key to a successful marriage. 
Absolutely. But if you were to read Oprah in Cosmopolitan magazine, they would tell you that the key to a successful marriage is to understand your partner. <laughs> oh, really? Are you kidding me? Under you can't understand your partner. The only thing you have to understand about your partner is that there are things about your partner that you will never understand. If you understand that, you will have a better understanding. Do you understand? And if you're married, you know what I'm talking about. I've been married to my wife for 25 years. Till this day, I can't understand why I have to get in trouble for dreams that she has. I think the thing I get most from participants in the audience is, how could you be so funny and yet so serious at the same time? I, I, one of my clients once said to me, never has my group laughed so hard and learned so much in one sitting. Thanks for the ride. Humor is everywhere. Look at your kids. How many people have kids? Oh my God, you know, we, we're, we're getting ready to go to work and we let precious moments go by. And we can't understand why we're all stressed out. These are precious moments. We look at our kids as annoying little people that we have to take care of before we go to work. They're funny people. Except for preteens. Preteens, that's a frightening category, man. People have preteens in this audience, you know what I'm talking about? You tell them what to do, they walk around the house mumbling. I didn't even do nothing, what are you picking on me for? Every time something goes wrong, I gotta get in trouble all the time. This place is worse than living in a prison for crying out loud, you're probably not my real mother and father anyway. You can't be my mother and father. And you look at them and you say, what are you saying? Nothing. Can't even breathe. <laughs> it's not what happens to you that determines how successful or how happy you're going to be. It's what you do about what happens. It's the choices you make is what makes the difference. It's the thoughts that you have about the challenge that will formulate the beliefs that you have about the challenge and will formulate the attitude you have about the challenge that makes a difference. Will you challenge yourself to find the laughter in between the tough times and will you dare to make a choice right now to say you're gonna enjoy yourself during the process, regardless of how challenging it may be. Watch how, watch how your kids grow up to be just like you. My son thinks he's a comedian. <laughs> Not funny. When he was younger, when he was in elementary school, people, I'm serious, he was making people laugh but he didn't know when to stop. He always thought he was on stage performing. We had a problem, he was getting in trouble. One time he came home from school. I said, hey, how was school? He said, good crowd, good crowd. <laughs> I said, don't get smart with me. He said, whoa, don't worry, I don't want to confuse you. <laughs> he even does impressions. First day of school, the teacher said, so young man, what's your name? And he went, well, what's it to you, lady? <laughs> teacher gave me a call, Mr. Rizzo, we have a problem. Your son thinks he's Jack Nicholson. And I'm like, what do you want me to do? I would wager any amount of money that most, if not all, the people in this room, when you're writing out your plans and your goals for the future, short term, long term, maybe even writing out a list of things that need to be done on any given day, nowhere on those lists do you ever include enjoying yourself. That totally blows me away. We take it for granted. Instead, what we have a tendency to do is that we create these dangerous mindsets. And we say things like this to ourselves on an unconscious level. You know what? I'll enjoy myself when I achieve the goal. I'll enjoy myself when I get to where I want to go. Right now, there are too many changes taking place, too many things happening. Nothing seems to be going the way I want them to go. When I get the respect and I start getting the recognition that I think I deserve, that's when I'm going to enjoy myself and I'm not going to do it one minute sooner. I'll show me a thing or two. <laughs> do you have any idea what you're doing when you say these things to yourself? You're putting your happiness on hold. You're actually convincing yourself that your happiness is dependent upon something that has to take place at some point in the future. Man, that's insane. It's insane because it'll never happen. Happiness will always be a couple of steps ahead of you. If you think about it, why shouldn't people laugh and have a good time, be entertained as they're learning success strategies that will not only take them to a, a better place in business, but in life? In my view, that's the ultimate success.
Give yourselves a big round of applause again. Thanks for the energy. Thanks for the energy. How much better do you feel right now that you're laughing? How much better do you feel that you're laughing? That's my point. That's my point.